o'clock, meet a man who woke up bright and early to stand in line 12 hours for the iconic performer he says rules his world. <laughs> Our Nikki Hauser talked with him and several others who consider themselves a beehive this afternoon, part of it. She's live outside Bank of America Stadium ahead of the big show. So Nikki, I mean, we've been on the countdown really for weeks, definitely for the past 24 hours. How much longer until Queen Bee takes the stage? Not much longer at all, Molly, and you can really feel the energy building. I want you to turn around and look at all of the people in these lines to my left is where those VIPs are getting in early. But I want to give you a full 360 view so you can see all of those people who are here tonight. Regular doors are opening up in just about 30 minutes. And that man that you mentioned, Colin Smith, he was here bright and early, way much earlier uh, than these people who, here, who are here now at 6 a.m. He was not the first in line, but he was the second. By this much, I almost beat her. The anticipation is almost over for Colin Smith. The energy, it's everything. Who tells me 12 hours in line was well worth the wait to see his queen in the Queen City. I just am thankful that she thought of little old Charlotte. While Beyonce's latest album has put up anthems Colin can't even choose between. Talk to me about your favorite Beyonce song. Oh, that's changed a hundred times since really? the album came out a year ago. Um, currently, she's got me in love with Virgo's Groove. If you can't tell by the new merch, uh -huh. we've got Virgo's Groove on the back. Her fan base can tell you. Come on, little nugget. So this here's my husband, Trey. Renaissance um, is about much more yeah. than the catchy beats. It feels good for my community to be recognized, and I know that there's a lot of uh, backlash and negativity against the LGBTQ community nowadays, but to have somebody as powerful and as notable as she is just say, hey, I love you guys no matter what, touches me. Colin says her music has become a haven. It's amazing. Her message has preached love and inclusion, and her fans, well, they're a family. <laughs> and speaking of family. Yes. I really want Blue Ivy to come because I don't expect her to be here, but that would be the cherry on top for me. Oh my God. Now, of course, Blue Ivy is Beyonce's daughter. And Molly, you mentioned that countdown. It's just about two hours until Beyonce hits that stage. So again, it's something that people here say they have been waiting months, years, even a lifetime for. So a lot of excitement as we head towards uh, that time. Live in Charlotte, I'm Nikki Hauser, WBTV on your side. Okay, I gotta say, you pulled a good assignment today. I mean, that was that was the pretty good story to get out there and hang out with everybody who was just in a happy mood. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm going to start dancing in just a little bit. So. Uh, we might hold you to it. We might hold you to it. Nikki Hauser, live tonight, Nikki. Thank you. We do